Passing on the peace accord to a new generation freed from war. The leader of the FARC, Timo Leon Jiménez, launched a former rebels political party in Bogotá and announced the group's transformation. He called on all Colombians to believe in a message of social inclusion and equality. We propose to Colombia to put an end to this bitter reality and to represent the country and to the world our political party, the Common Alternative Revolutionary Force as another demonstration for peace and democracy and social justice for Colombia. After a five-day political convention, they kept their acronym FARC, but changed its meaning to the Common Alternative Revolutionary Force. Gone are the rifles from their logo, replaced by a single red rose with a socialist star at the center. And holding their symbolic roses, former fighters gathered in the central Plaza Bolivar from early afternoon. They were treated to celebrations that would have been unthinkable just a year ago for those who until recently were considered terrorists by the state. What we hope is that the Colombian people understand that it is time to hug each other in reconciliation and that we can't continue killing each other. Few concrete policy details have been revealed, but absent are all references to the group's traditional Marxist roots. It hopes to attract a larger section of Colombians beyond the rural poor and is calling for a broad coalition in defense of the implementation of the peace deal. I believe in the FARC's efforts to hand over all their weapons and I aspire that the next generations may live in peace. I have many friends who died longing for this day when the guerrilla would turn into a democratic political force. Still, the FARC's party will face an uphill battle trying to convince a skeptic population which continues to associate the name FARC with kidnappings, extortions and war crimes. The new party will compete in next year's general election and while the peace accord does grant them 10 seats in Congress regardless of their performance, it will be the moment of truth for these former rebels that now promise to fight for power at the ballot box after 50 years of bloody conflict against the state. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Bogotá.